Hello, welcome to Paleo Greenbird. Greenbird here, and I'm doing one of my favorite things to do here. I'm unboxing a trade, or this is actually a gift. I mean, it turned into a trade, but it started off as a gift from uh, my good friend, Mr. Ten Bears. And I am really excited. I can't wait to see what's inside. He's been doing some crazy stuff lately. Um, so, can only imagine what little bits of... Funness he has put in here. So I'm going to open it up using a knife of mine that is very dear to me. This was actually a gift from Mr. Ten Bears. Appears to be, um, you know, some sort of a file that was uh, hit with a torch and, and bent forward. And one of the things I really like about this knife, not to get off topic, is that. Um, it's definitely a good hard carbon steel. <clears throat> it will work really good against flint. So I can use this as a flint striker with the char cloth and stuff like that. I have neglected to put an edge on this. It has a decent edge on it, but I have neglected to um, you know, finish it up like you had mentioned, Dave. And that is simply because, honestly, I am just really terrible at sharpening knives. It's still a skill that I have not yet been able to capture. So until I do, I don't want to mess with this. But the next time I go to the farmer's market, when they have the the guy there with the spinning wheel who sharpens all the knives, I may bring this up to him. So anyway, I digress. Let's get into this box and see what we have. Oops, I guess I've already cut that side. I had to um, remove the labels because it had all of our addresses and everything on there so that's the only reason that that side is cut just figured maybe Mr. Ten Bears would not like his address all over the internet okay so what do we have let's take a look okay here are the hammer stones he did tell me he was gonna send me some hammer stones Yep, and these do look like they've had some use. This is oh, this is a real nice one there. Hmm. Very cool. I like this small one too. I do a lot of work with small hammer stones, believe it or not. Huh. Alright, so these are gonna go in and I, I did check with him ahead of time because he told me he was going to send some hammer stones. These are not artifacts, so I will be using these. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, so let's go on to... What is this? Okay, that's just some paper. Oh wow, he's got some crazy stuff in here. What is this? Ah, one thing about Dave is he does like his Tic Tacs. And I believe orange is his favorite flavor. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. I'll edit this and speed this up if this gets too boring. Oh my. What is, oh, there's two things in there, but let's just check out this one first. That's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Look how small that is. That is just amazing that he can produce such, you know, fine work out of such a small piece. I'm guessing that's um, some cobalt blue glass, probably from a, a thrift shop, you know, maybe a bottle or something like that. Wow, that, look at that. That is gorgeous. Where am I going to put that? I will have to figure out a place to put that. And yeah, you're using a lot thicker wire than me. That's why I'm having a hard time with my wrapping. Well, aside from the fact that I just need practice, but the wire I'm using is way too thin. Alright, so let's see what this other thing is. Wow, Dave. There's two of them in here. Oh, there's a bunch. Good grief. Look at this. I have to do something with these. I'm going to show them to the camera one at a time. 
this one first. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. That, I think, I want to say this is either Keokuk. It might be some Ridge, but I think it's Keokuk would be my guess. This, I know what this is. Look at that nice, nice thin point. He does such great work. I bet that this is um, Ashwa Cola, I think, is probably what this is going to be. Based on how it looks, I mean, I don't know. It could be a different type of flint, but Dave let me know this. To me, this is either Flint Ridge or this looks like Mookite. Yeah, it feels like Mookite too. And the reason I say it feels like Mookite is because it's very plasticky, it's light. Kind of, it's just a really weird material. It's no wonder it comes from Australia. And this... I don't know if you can see, but I can see through the light. This is obsidian. This is either a piece of rainbow obsidian that has you know a little bit of color in it, because I do see some banding, or this might be banded obsidian. Look at that. Amazing work, Dave. You do, you do such great work. Wrap this back up until I can properly put it somewhere. Next to the other orange Tic Tac container that I have from the last one that you sent me. These. <laughs> what are these? Ooh, files. Are these for notches, Dave? Or are these for... Woodworking. Oh, let's see. Well, let's just read them here. Um, I don't have my glasses, so I can't read them, but I can't tell if they're carbide or if they're regular files. But <clears throat> um, judging by them, I, I bet these would be really good for for notching. I'll give it a shot. It comes with like a, a, a completely round one, one that has a bit of a blade to it, one that has a thicker blade, more of a pyramid edge on the top. And then a couple of flat ones. So I will definitely take those and see what I can do with those. Oh my goodness, there's so much in here. Let's see what this is. This feels heavy. Maybe it's a cannonball. Ooh, check this out. Oh, this is a good, this is a nice heavy hammer stone. It feels really good in the hand. I have a lot of hammer stones, but I don't think I have one that's this heavy and this small. I like that. Stick that off to the side. Oh, this feels like another hammer stone. No, it's too flat. It's going to be some sort of a fancy rock. What is this? Oh, what is this? Huh. Dave, tell me what this is. I can't tell. Is this, is this just a really cool hammer stone that I can grip in a funky way? Almost feels kind of like... I, could, I bet I could abrade braid with that, too. It feels a little bit rough. But I bet I could grab it like this and get a nice, good, heavy hit. I bet that's a hammer stone. Let me know, though, Dave. This is like the Mary Poppins box. It just never stops. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy moly. Look at that. I, I know that sounds super corny, but I just don't know what else to say. This must be the tiger chart, I'm guessing, that you got. Wow, look at those stripes. That is just amazing. Wow, thank you so much, Dave. I hope I don't destroy this. I'm going to make something really good out of this, and this is going to be a keeper. I'm not giving any of it away. Hmm. A little bit of an inclusion right there. I wonder what that was. Maybe that was a fossil or something. Pretty cool. I mean, it's not there now, so who cares? It doesn't matter, but 
and the, I, I think this has been cooked too. Kind of, it feels really glassy. It looks like it's been cooked. So that's really cool. Thanks, Dave. I'm gonna make something really cool out of that and show you. Oh my goodness! What is this? Ah, that can't be what I think it is. Huh. I don't know. This this looks to me like Danish flint. Or maybe, um, what's the other dark one that we get here in Texas? I forget. But, um, that looks really good. I can't wait to break into that. That's a nice piece. I apologize that I can't 100% ID this, but I just don't know. Dave's been going crazy getting some stuff from everywhere, so I don't know what this is. If this is local or... Like I said, it looks like Danish flint, but I, it, it's pretty heavy. Maybe it's some of the... Um, there's another one from Texas that I, I just can't remember at the moment, but... There's another piece right here. It's like long and flat. Aha! I think I know what this is. And I said I think. I would say that this is probably some Kentucky Hornstone. Is what it looks like to me. Almost looks like Georgetown. But the cortex is a... Well, I don't know. Maybe that is Georgetown. Now, now... Cortex is different, and the, the color, uh, Georgetown's a lot more of a solid dark gray. It doesn't have any of the milkiness that this has. I bet this is Kentucky Hornstone. Thank you, Dave. I'm going to use that for some indirect percussion. Oh, Dave knows how much I left with the polished rocks. I really do like these a lot. And uh, my bad, I've actually been thinking about, oh, wow, this was kind of pointy. I've been thinking about wire wrapping some of them to work on my wire wrapping skills. Wow, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I know I'm kind of a dork. I kind of nerd out to this stuff, but look at it. It's just so beautiful. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but I know that there's a lot of aquashicola, I think is what it's called, right in here. Like That's what this is. Chalkiness right there, but it nice. It, it buffs out really well. It's really cool. Even the chalkiness buffs out and becomes shiny and smooth. This is really really cool. Look at that. Look at that pattern. I think I'm gonna make a magnet out of this one. So I know this video is going super long. I apologize, but this is just really cool. I don't want to miss any of it. And I'll probably I'm gonna go through this stuff even more in detail after I in this video. Another nice one. They're all beautiful. Not sure what this pink stuff is, but boy, that's pretty cool too. Alright, so I'll go through those the rest of the bag off camera, but there's another small box. Oh, it says be careful. Oh, it says surprise. Be careful opening. There are a few tools in here. Oh my goodness. All right. Where'd the knife go? I'm going to do a video on this knife pretty soon about, uh, you know, using the foot and steel and stuff like that. All right, so it actually looks like it's not taped up, so I should be good just to kind of pop it open. sending me. I don't know. Let's, let's see here. Let's do the small ones first, I suppose. Or maybe that's, that's probably just packing. Okay. Uh, look at that. So he sent me a nice... This is probably Darlin. Pressure flaker with an aluminum tip. I, I, well, I'm guessing this is aluminum. That's what I'm guessing. Very, very cool. 
Um, I don't have an aluminum one. I have copper one. Of course, I stripped out the set screw. I had to, now I have to put BBs in there and give it some love. But uh, this is really, really cool. And it's interesting, too, because um, I found that the aluminum tools work really, really well. I know everyone always says copper, copper, copper. But uh, when Dave sent me the, um, the original tool for indirect percussion, I was really shocked at how good the, the aluminum worked. So I can't wait to give this a try. I don't know if this is one of those tire um, repair things that you were that you have in your some of your other videos, Dave, or if this is something different. But I can't wait to give that a go, boy. Ah, look at that. So he sent me a nice copper insert. Oh, let me see if I can get that in frame here. Sorry. And I'll tell you why this is so good. I, ha I have plenty of copper nails. I've got a ton of them. But I just don't have anything flat like this. And for whatever reason, have just not been motivated to make one. And this is really good for notching. Really good. I can't wait to use this. Wow, Dave, you outdid yourself. This is a just a fantastic box. Thank you. Some horseshoe nails. You can do a bunch of things with these. You can turn them into pressure flakers. You can pressure flake with the tip of them. Or you can hammer them into a piece of wood, chop off the tip, and then you've got the flat part for, you know, notching and stuff like that. This is, these are big, though. I've never seen them this big. Something here. Let's see what this is. those flakes this is great Dave thank you so much I, I will find a way to honor this blade I'll have to into something special really nice but look how long that is too that's just really good work it's not easy for those of you that don't flint nap not easy to get a blade this big especially shooting all the way across there's no islands this is as clean as you could possibly imagine. Nice flake patterns. They either match on both sides or they go all the way across. Or both. Yeah, both. So, really quality work. i got to figure out something to do with that. So, what an amazing unboxing. And um, I appreciate it, Dave. Thank you. And I always enjoy our trades back and forth. I hope you have a happy holidays. I Actually, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. How about that? I said it. So, um, anyway, thanks for joining me. Paleo Greenbird signing out. Okay, so in the excitement, I failed to see that um, this box is actually labeled <laughs> with this stuff that's in there. So, yeah, silly me. So, um, not sure what some of it says, but, so the top is grinding stone. So that's, the grinding stone is probably the one that I was looking at, and I said, oh, this would be a great grinding stone. In fact, I'll show you. I think it was probably this one right here is the grinding stone. Um, and then if you look down there, English flint. My gosh, this is English Flint. I have never worked English Flint. I've always wanted to work English Flint. In fact, I've been, you know, craving to have a chance to work English Flint. I don't know if that probably sounds funny to you guys, but um, the, I'm not going to go into it, but the difference is that, you know, this English Flint, this is real Flint. This is fossilized coral, basically. And the flint we get around here in the States is, for the most part, very different. It's mostly volcanic in nature, not not so much the pressure. But, um, you know, some of the stuff like the Georgetown is pretty comparable to, to Danish flint. But look at this. 
So I, I was right. I have some English fun to work. So cool. And then um, hornstone. So that's what I said. What, what I thought was hornstone. Right here. Appears that it is hornstone. And then let's see, tic tac of goodies. Yeah, I got that. That was the necklaces and the points. Those are fantastic. And tiger chart. So that was tiger chart. That I thought was tiger chart. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's this. You can see why they call it tiger chart. This is beautiful. I can't. Oh man, I can't. I have like mixed feelings. I can't wait to break into it, but I just I'm gonna have to do it with extreme intent and make sure that I don't screw it up. And well, the tiger chart is one tool. One tool I've used. One tool I've used. Okay. So, and that is this. And I'll tell you, like I said, that aluminum, I have always underestimated that. I never thought aluminum would work at all. I was always just pro copper, 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 and could, just because that's what I was taught. But um, this aluminum works really, really well. I'm really impressed with it. All right, so I just wanted to add that uh, to the video. All right, signing out.